I absolutely adored the movie. Oh, good. I'm a Thank huge you. Nancy Drew fan. I read it when I was younger, and you know, it's, it really captures the spirit. Are you a fan of the books? Yeah, I am. I hadn't read them when I was younger, but I am now, of course. And I really, I think that's what's really great about the movie is it really does, you know, it really is like Nancy Drew. She's the character is still the same, and it's not. We didn't like modernize her to be this, you know like long haired blonde girl from California who wasn't like Nancy Drew. So I think it's really cool that, um, you know, she really stays true to herself in the book. When you found out you were playing this this iconic character, were you a little nervous? I was more excited because it was, um, you know, I think it's always cool to play somebody who kind of already exists in a movie. I think right. that's really fun. How did you approach the character? What were some of the things that you wanted to bring to life? I thought it was great how they updated the story around her rather than her and adds a bit of comedy to the movie. And um, I kind of became her through the transformation of my hair, my makeup, my clothes, all of that kinds of stuff. The whole fashion trend to the movie as well. I mean, you know, you could it could start a whole new uh, yeah. a whole new trend. I see like some Nancy Drew type things in in a lot of trends today, like the high waisted jeans, you know, the button down shirts tucked in, or you know, all those kinds of things, and even you know, lots of the patterns that we did in the movie. I see kind of people wearing them a little bit, so it's cool. What part did you enjoy doing the most? Probably, you know, the stunts were really fun. I mean, I didn't do all of my own stunts, of course, but I mean, just it was cool to see how they did that. Hold on, Nancy, we got the fire department here. That's all right, Chief. I'll be down in the jiffy. Are you an adventurous type yourself? I am, yeah. I'm very curious, just like Nancy Drew. And, um, you know, she's she's very much more of a perfectionist than I am. What do you think it is about Nancy Drew that makes that she just transcends time like she does? She's just, she's very um, relatable to girls, and girls who can't really relate to her that much will still want to be her friend. <laughs> so, you know, either way, she's a likable character who I think can fit into any time period. Are you going to be playing more, Nancy? You know, Hopefully, I think we're gonna see what happens after the first one, but I would love to, you know, play her again and go back and solve another mystery. Can you tell when a girl looks at you and is thinking how much she likes you and wondering if you like her, but thinking how important it is for you to say how you feel before she says anything more about how she feels about you? Can you repeat the question? Nancy Drew. I found a tunnel and I'm going in. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, that means something bad's happened. <laughs> I don't think that was a joke.